Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for the week of the 25th of July. Please do bear in mind that these are general readings so it may not resonate for everybody. Take what doesn't leave what doesn't. And please do like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So uh, for this week I will be divining through leaves and I have some petals in here um, and some sticks, nature basically. So um, I, and, I, and I do love working with this element. So I hope you enjoy it and also I'll be putting out some cards towards the end. I've got my Hawaiian deck here. All right. Cancer, let's begin. For Cancer, please. Cancer. 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 I'm seeing it. Uh, here you are having to redo something you are having to revisit um, a situation or something that was started having to rethink a few things over here it's something that will be even better once you do it so it's like it's not something that you know, uh, will give you too much kind of, uh, it's not too much of a hassle basically. So, but it's, it, and it will be worth it. It will be very, very much worth it. So if it's something that, you know, you have been ready to finish, complete, it, it's some sort of like, there's a problem area in something that you've been working on or a situation that you're in. Um, but I'm seeing here that it's definitely worth going back rethinking the plan, redoing it, because the outcome will be even stronger and better. And it's like, as you're doing this, you'll come to a full realization of what it is that, um, why, the reason behind it. So it's something very, very good that I do see here as well. Um, there is positive news coming in for you as well. I see that you're having to hurry up something um, you know, feeling like you're a little bit rushed with certain things that you're doing, but it's like there is some downtime as well that's needed. I feel like you're having to put the brakes on at some point because you're realizing that maybe the work is mounting up and you're rushing to get things done and it's like needing to scale back as well is what I'm, I'm getting here. You are at an advantage with something if you are um if you've applied for something or if you are um you know kind of uh, ready to to go somewhere th there's something here that you're already at an advantage so let's say it, it's a uh, um uh, some kind of competition let's say there's something that you have that puts you ahead of others, if that makes sense. Also, I'm seeing something here. Uh, okay, this is very kind of um, maybe a bit specific. Odd numbers. Maybe your your door number is an odd number. Uh, there's something there that's an odd number that, you know, may relate to you in some way. Maybe you're at an age that's an odd number or, um, you know, your birthday. There's, there's something around you. So there's a message there. <laughs> I know it's very random, but definitely that's what I'm getting is something to do with odd numbers also. There is an association that's happening or somebody wants to be associated with you. Somebody wants to be associated with you, with your presence. You have a certain presence and there's something there that uh, people around you or a particular kind of person wants to be seen with you, you know, maybe because you could be um, more popular than you realize. So for it's like they them being with you benefits them. So be wary of someone trying to, or pretending to be your friend or trying to be your friend that's not really, you're wanting to be your friend for the right reasons, if that makes sense. And I see here that 
you realize you're actually in a very powerful situation, a uh, very powerful position in this situation. Um, and there's a breakthrough with communication also. Cancer is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a go ahead, like a green light. And also you're kind of like uh, packing, packing your bags, uh, packing to go away. You're sorting through things also. There's some like deep organization, a lot of organizing here. And it's like your skills for uh, timekeeping and organization is really being put to the test here <laughs> in a good way. Also, there's a lot of light coming in for you, Cancer, as well. There's great, um, th there's some, I feel like if you're in a relationship, things have been really, really busy that you may have not been able to spend quality time together. And I feel like uh, that is about, you know, that is, that is happening, that is going to happen, where, you know, quality time is a thing. Time has been an issue, but, you know, all good also. There could be a surprise. Um, for some of you not in a relationship, you could be developing feelings with, towards someone that you thought that's unlikely, basically, someone that you didn't quite expect either. But you're definitely... There's a, there's a gathering that I'm seeing here, bringing about um, people together. So maybe you're organizing an event and you're bringing people together. Okay. Let's see what the cards have for you, Cancer. The Hierophant. Okay. The evil, which is like basically like the devil. So we have the heaven and the devil next to each other. And then the ten of lava stones. And so I see here you are well aware and wary of your surroundings. Um, it's like the past has taught you a lot. And you are you're able to fully recognize things that should no longer be there or come to an ending of some sort. Ending uh, bad patterns as well, in order for you to make way to the Ten of Lava Stones, which is basically the Ten of Pentacles here. So you are, I do see recognition coming in for you as well, Cancer. There is a type of, there is some recognition coming in. And I see that you, this kind of recognition could possibly bring you a lot of, um, you know, could could uh, could bring a person a lot of ego, but you're not going to allow that to happen. I do see your feet very quite, you know, well on the floor, firmly on the floor, and and um, focused with the right attitude to what you want. Because I I just see the the biggest breakthrough here for you. There's a financial gain here, financial stability. You know, the Ten of Pentacles, you're definitely kind of uh, making a, a, a wish, a wishes come to life here, you know. And it's all because of a certain passion that's brought you forward, but not allowing um, the negativity to surround you, but understanding how to kind of remove it from you. Oh, the Ten of Swords. Ten of Love Stone. Ten of Swords. Four of Swords. And there is, here with the Ten of Swords, you know, the sun here for me is very, very bright. And I do see, as I was saying, there's something that needs to be removed. So I'm guessing you're going to get a lot of clarity. A lot of clarity. I think there is an in, you're going to need your inner strength here as well. As I was saying, be wary. Be wary of those that want to um, be around you for other reasons than truly being your friend, if that makes sense. Um, I do see certain conditions being set. And if it doesn't kind of, you know, reach certain standards for you, that's important. I see you easily walking away. It's like you have no no more patience for that. Um, and I do see a cycle ending. I see a cycle ending 
for you. And there's the Four of Swords as well. It's like that quality time needing the time away, packing maybe to go away on vacation. As um as I saw there with the with with the leaves. Um and it is good for also for you to break away from a certain crowd or an environment things like that you know so you see the sun clearly that sun will shine onto many things that is very very clear for you the boy of swords you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius possibly not you know it doesn't have to be but could be a lot of air, air cards here boy of so, so this is like the page of swords here um, and I see that the communication is coming in. There's important news coming in for you is what I'm getting here. And I do see that it is kind of like you are now starting something very exciting, could be exclusive as well. It's like you're in, you're, you're in the right gear and you're ready to go as well. It's like it, it's bringing you excitement after kind of, um, you know, clearing certain energies away from you because this uh, house here with the, the ten of of pentacles ten of lava stones is what you have attained and are attaining and in order to maintain that you need to there's a there's a, a balancing that needs to happen here with the right good energies and and um ending certain patterns and cycles taking a break for yourself breathing and that here the boy of swords and page of swords it's like yeah we're ready we're ready for this new start which i absolutely love for you cancer and well well deserved as well so this news coming in uh sees you kind of really kind of um you know propelling forward in in a in a in a quick way almost like succession of of blessings in disguise here as well Love this for you, Cancer. I hope this was helpful, Cancer. Thank you all so very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves until next time.